Hi everyone, it's Arit here. Welcome to the Estatino Artist Channel where we release all kinds of stuff on money, marketing, and mindset for creative entrepreneurs. In today's video, we're gonna look at how to create your own social media content calendar using Airtable. So if you're not familiar with Airtable, it's a really cool online tool that you can use. It's kind of like a spreadsheet program, but way cooler. So the reason why I say that is because it has so much more functionalities than a simple Excel spreadsheet or Google sheet. And as you can see here, you know, I have all of my columns at the top, but I can literally drag and drop images into columns. I can create multiple select columns um, if I need to. I can select dates right here. I can put links, I can create a checkbox column. Um, so some really cool stuff that you could do with Airtable. If at any point you're watching this video and you don't have an Airtable account, I do have a link in the description below where you can go directly there and sign up for Airtable. It's free to use, you can set up your own stuff. They do have little paid extras if you need them, but you don't actually need that to set up something like this. All you need to do is sign up and verify your email and you can create something like this. So that link is in the description below. All right, so let me show you what I have here. There's different types of views that you can do. Um, this is the spreadsheet view, the typical spreadsheet view. And I'm just gonna scroll back here. Each single row here is called a record. So the record, or rec <laughs> I said it weird, but let's just call it record. The record, uh, one record is one social media post. So I created different columns here. Uh, the social post column here is a text column, which ha allows me to write the copy or text associated with the post. I have a multiple select column, where I can indicate which uh, social media platforms I want this post to go on. By the way, this isn't, Airtable is not something that's gonna schedule the post for you. It's just literally a way to organize all of your content. I just wanna make that clear. But this is something where you can outline every single one of your platforms that you want to be posting on. Uh, topic, so you can create multiple select uh, options and when I say multiple select it just means the type of column that I have here so you can see here there's many different types of columns that you can create and based on the type you'll have a different functionality within that column so if you have a multiple select column like this you can then create different options I put this as uh, my topic column so I thought ahead of time what what is my message? What is, um, what do I want to, what type of content do I want to release on my social media platforms that speaks to my brand, my message, who I am, uh, that relays value as well at the same time. So I came up with those different topics and just listed them all out here so that it makes it easy to come up with content this way. Once you have a specific topic to think around, then the idea becomes, it becomes easier to think of the idea rather than just going broad and thinking, okay, what kind of social media content should I create today? So if let's say, you know, today I want this to be, um, today I want this to be a music post. So if it's a music post, then I would go and create the text for it, source any of the images, etc. I'm just gonna change that back. Um, the attachments post, you can see here, like I said, you can literally drag and drop images in here. I have a date column, a link. So sometimes it's not an image that I'm posting, but it's a link that on Facebook, at least it generates a preview for me already. So I have that, um, any associated hashtags. Like if I'm posting on Instagram, I like to keep track of the hashtags that I've used. So I'll put that in here. And then a checkbox column to indicate yes or no if it's been posted. So this is the spreadsheet view. You also have the option to click on social calendar and see this kind of view like this. So you can see sometimes I have multiple posts going out on different platforms. This is uh, the month of February. Um, but what's really cool here is that you have all of your records that you created in the spreadsheet mode. You can literally just come in here and drag and drop them into the calendar like so, um, which is really cool. I'm just gonna delete those. 
Um, so this is a, a way, you know, if you wanted to go back to the spreadsheet mode and just come up with all of your content ideas in those records, then you can change to the social calendar mode and come in here and drag and drop them across the board. That's also, um, that's also something you can do. You can go by two weeks or a week's view. You can also filter um, specifically based on the topic or the social media platform. So if let's say I want to take a look at everything that that I have uh, scheduled to go out on my Facebook profile, then what I can do is I can come up here, I can click on platform, I can select Facebook profile, and then it will show me at a glance what I've scheduled on my Facebook profile to go out. So if I see any gaps, um, depending on how many times you want to be posting, then I can come in here and drag and drop stuff inside. You might also want to filter by topic. So let's change this over here to topic. And let's say I want to see all of the music posts that I created uh, on the topic of music. And I see here I don't have very many. So that, in a sense, tells me that I need to create more music content. So it allows you to see at a glance whether you have your content evenly distributed across your platforms, the different platforms that you're posting on, and also across your different topics that you want to be creating content on. And you can always just stay in this view. You don't have to go to the spreadsheet view. It really depends on what you like. But let's say over here, again, I discovered I don't, very, I don't have very many music posts, so I can literally create stuff from within here. I don't have to go back to the spreadsheet mode. I can click on this plus button, and this will allow me to create a new record. So I can, you know, put my text in here, something to do with my music. Um, I will select the platforms that it's going on. So that would be the Arete Music fan page. I can put, I can attach the, um, any images associated with that, the date, all the stuff that I had on the previous mode, I could do it from here. And then once that's done, I can X out of that and then literally drag it and drop it wherever I want in my calendar. So you can easily create something like this for yourself. You could probably, you might even go and create something even better, you know, customize it to your needs. For me, it was really important to be able to see the text associated with the post, any images, any links, the hashtags, uh, of course, the date that I'm going to be scheduling the post on, and the platforms and topics are super important for me. I want to make sure that I am diversifying my content. It's not just all on one topic. And also to be able to see the distribution of content going out on the different platforms that I want to be active on. And also what I really love is that Airtable, you can download the mobile app so that anytime you have ideas coming to you for new social posts, you can literally come to the app and I don't know if you guys can see this, but um, click on the plus sign right here to create a new post from wherever you are. And also, if you have existing records or posts within your Airtable, you can always check up on them from within the app and click the checkbox to indicate that it has been posted. So that's a quick glance at creating your social media content calendar using Airtable. It's super easy to create these different columns that you see here. You just need to click on the plus sign and then select the type of column over here. Um, like I said, this is the text column. There's, you know, there's single line text, there's attachment, all this kind of stuff. If you are going for the multiple select column, you can click on that. You can name the column from here. Let's say it's another topic column. And then once you have that, you can add your options here. So topic one and then topic two, etc. And then you can save that when you save it and you want to indicate on this record what topic it is, you can click on the plus sign and select it. 
So it's it's very um, it's very user friendly. It's easy to learn. This, of course, wasn't an in-depth video of how to do it. I just wanted to show you what is possible with Airtable. But let me know if you are interested in me creating another tutorial on exactly how to create a template like this from scratch, and I'd be happy to do so. So once again, make sure you click on the link in the description below if you are signing up for an Airtable account. It's totally free. Uh, that link is an affiliate link of mine. So if you do click on it and sign up for an account with it, I do get $10 credit. And if you do that, I'm very grateful, but please know that's not why I'm actually talking about this. I'm recommending Airtable because I've been using it for a while now and I really love it. It's super helpful. So if this video has been helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below to let me know and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more good stuff coming your way. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.